We are counting down the days to Halloween, and the only way to do it is with a massive horror action figure. Oh, yeah, we got Chucky. We got old Chucky. We got Bride of Chucky. We got Billy. We got Leatherface. Actually, we got several Leatherfaces. Matter of fact, I do believe this is a brand new toy line. We also have The Nun. We got House of a Thousand Corpses, Michael Myers, Jason, Friday the 13th, and all of the brand new NECA figures that are starting to hit retail. So I say we go ahead, get these cracked open, and check them out. Hey, it's Horror Hero Figs. We are going to be taking a look at a boatload of horror action figures, you guys. It's a very exciting time of year. It's that time where we start getting all of the brand new horror figures, as well as some return comebacks. Check this out. We got House of a Thousand Corpses making their way back, not in NECA, but on this go-around, it's based on the trick or treats studios now this is based off a build a figure so if you actually collect all of the figures right here in the series you do get who is the build a figure by the way it doesn't indicate i'm pretty sure it's tiny i could be wrong it might indicate it on another character because i do believe that captain spaulding is the only character in this series right here that doesn't have a build a figure piece and i think that's the right moment dude think about it right if there was any guy that was gonna roll up here as potentially the figure from the set it's got to be your boy, Captain Spaulding. Look at this. He's got his chatting. He's got his bucket of chatting. And then if he doesn't want to eat, he's got his damn gun. Man, this is insanity. Now, these are based off the 5-inch scale. So keep in mind, it ain't going to necessarily fit in your NECA figures. But it should display pretty damn good right there if you were trying to relive some of those iconic moments, man. R.I.P. Look at that. That gun fits perfect. That head scan actually just might fit on a NECA figure. I want to do some comparisons as we go through the entire box set right here. But yes, very lively, very bright. Love all the colors, all these paint apps. They're definitely translating accordingly, man. Freaking solid. This piece of chicken, yeah, we're going to have to save that to the end. Oh, yeah, buddy. Now, let's get into the... No, no, hold on, hold on. I want to get into this Chucky, you guys, because this new Chucky, well, not that one right here, but this one in particular, it's new to me. I want to compare the newer one one alongside what they were doing back in the day now keep in mind this one was based off mcfarland and i do believe that this one right here it is a maki mock mock so we are gonna need the knife knife so let's cut that let's slice that and let's pull out chucky right here and his wife also known as bride of chucky also known as tiffany oh real quick you guys on the packaging you actually do get an exclusive movie ticket if you want to make your happy meal ass down to the movie store go check that out on the back right here it's it's going to tell you about Michael Myers, it's going to tell you about Pumpkinhead, Ghostface, Child's Play, The Crow, and these two right here. Oh yeah, man. You better be dropping a like if you like horror, and you also better be dropping a like if you don't want these guys to come after you and haunt you. Wait, wait, what the hell is this? We get a little booklet. We get a little tutorial of what we're going to get in future lineups. So that's pretty cool, man. Look at this. The spy who shagged me making his way back here in the figure series. Pretty cool. All right, we didn't come here for the damn board. We came here for the damn figgies. Oh, and I think they're held down, you guys. We might have to do a little fight. And I do believe this packaging right here, it has got to be at least close to 20 years old. But it ain't stopping us man check this out we get a little movie maniacs uh it's kind of like a movie poster it's something you would see right there if you were to go see the movie on the back right there it's got the little ink closing all right let's check him out man this figure he's giving me too much damn fight so what we got to do is we got to do a little twisty party man you do it on the left and then you do it on the right and then next thing you know both have come up just like that just how the doctor ordered or in this case the horror fans from the WHF Biggie universe. Look at these two, man. Chucky looking hella scary. All those damn cuts. She's like, oh, baby, you'd be looking fresh AF. I mean, look at this. This guy's coat all banged up, all ripped. This guy has gone through battle. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> you didn't necessarily walk out with the dub, but it was pretty damn close. I guess it's all on who you ask. I'm going to go ahead and ask Brad. Yo, Brad. Did Chucky end up winning? Well, I'm going to tell you, WHF. One, I always win. Bride of Chucky, she always wins. But they were working as a team. They were a cohesive unit. And at the end of the day, he's like, let me check out that new Chucky, bro. Let me check that out. Yes, right here. Look at this, you guys. So this one right here. 
It's actually based off the TV movie series, or sorry, the I believe it's on Peacock. It's like a uh, TV series, so it's episodes. It's not an actual movie movie, but the same character, the same lad that wanted to play and get them body transfers. Oh, yeah. We love it. This is very exciting, you guys. You get three scans in all that you can interchange, plus one on the figure. So four total. You get a hand right there that's all mangled. You get a knife. You get needles. And look at this. We get the damn middle finger. Now, scale, you can definitely tell that the older McFarlane is definitely bringing something more to the table. And we are going to do a full dissection. So definitely stay tuned, man. Turn on that noty gang, because you ain't trying to miss on any of this. This or the nun now this one right here you guys another comeback special not just in the figure series but also in the upcoming movie that's right she is making her return right there in the cinemas oh check out that little backdrop so it looks like if you want to take your ass to church right there buddy boy or if you want to tell the nun right here that she's gonna scare the crap out. i'm telling you bro there is no nun in history that has done what she's done and I'm going to tell you why. Because he's also being held down. I'm going to go ahead, let him breathe. Let these figgies go. And I got to say, interchanging scan too. Pretty solid. I do like that plain Jane. But at the end of the day, I feel like the one that's going to bring the most attention to the figure, it's got to be the actual scan that's on the figure. Look at this, you guys. She is freaking scary as all heck. And the only thing she's going to be bringing right now is the solid cloth goods. Let's see what's underneath, though. We got to do a little peeky. Oh, she's banged up, bro. She is bruised up. This is what happens when you hang out right there in the Catholic Church. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, let's get to the more and the more and the more horror because this right here, it's only one of many, you guys. Check this out. When I said there was leather face, I mean there is tons of leather face figures in these boxes. And I did say plural. We got more than one right here. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, there is tons to cover. So on this one, you do also get a nice little backdrop. If you do look at it, you can actually see leather face right there mixed in with all the red. And then you get the little tour bus right down there at the bottom. The actual figure that you will be getting in the packaging will be sitting right there on the side. And on the back side, look at leather face, dude. This guy actually has two different versions. You can either A, Get the one that's here right here, where it's all covered in blood. And I did want the gore one. I feel like that one was going to stand out more right there with the actual figgies. But the chainsaw, look at this. Oh, look at the scan. So you get a nice little backdrop, and you get an alternating uh, head scan that you can swap out. And you also get the chainsaw. This vroom, 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 Oh, yeah. That's how you get the blood. That's how you get the gore. That's how you get the guts and all that action that Leatherface is going to bring in today's video, bro. This is insanity. And it actually does sit on there pretty well. So you kind of have to adjust it around. And you can articulate it. It is based on an actual double pinless elbow design. So points of articulation. Oh, yeah, bro. Just be careful, though, because I am going to tell you, this is definitely feeling more like a statue more than anything. The head scan, again, very gory, very bloody. It's all covered. The hair, it's a drip into the front. It's a drip into the back. And then right here, the apron, this right here, this is the one that I was talking about. So you get either this one, which is the highly bloody design, or you get the non-bloody. And then you can actually have them hold right here, the actual head scan. So I'm going to go ahead and show you and bring it up real close to the camera. Because this is pure insanity, bro. Look at this. So you can interswap the hand right there. And you can see how the hand is perfectly placed right there on top of the decapitated head yes i said that correct look at all that blood and guts this man ain't gonna be doing a throw after this <laughs> leather face solid very tiny but who gives a damn because captain blake that's right the man that was sailing the ocean the man that was in the seven seas he's like you better get me on that damn special for the 14.99 one thing that captain blake won't be getting you on though is on that boat buddy because this man oh yeah he don't gotta ride around on the boat anymore this guy's just floating right because at the end of the day he's dead man he is long gone and i do believe he does come with an accessory weapon which i believe it's down here at the bottom back end you can do a little backdrop right there which is kind of based off the whole theme now here is the blade that captain blake does come with and this is based off the toonie terrors which i do believe and i could be wrong i'm gonna have to double check but i do believe uh early 20 no no, no i believe that so it was already released NECA is also making their own ultimate version of this figure which is insane because i mean when i first saw this i'm like dude we're actually gonna get captain blake 
We're gonna get that scruffy mix scruff, and we also got his knife. So we gotta go ahead and pour it on there, you guys, because that's the only way that you can display Captain Blake right there. Look at that. So you gotta do it on the left, do it on the right. You're gonna wanna do it on the uh, on the right though, just because it has that mic open design, so it should stay on there once you apply it on there. Now the head scan, yeah, this thing is pretty gnarly, dude. Solid purple, the jacket, it is all banged up. I mean, you can see the fabric goods. There ain't no fabric goods, but you know what? You don't get that with Toonie Tears, man. I'm going to tell you, you're going to most likely see that in the NECA lineup. Now, let's keep this box going. Who else we got? We got your boy Leatherface, also based on the NECA series, but this one, it is based off the cloth goods. We got a little tape ski going on. We got a chainsaw, and on the back side, it's going to give you the destruction that this man has left behind every single time, bro. I don't care if you're talking about the first movie. I don't care if you're talking about the second movie or really any movie that this man has showed up in because at the end of the day, that's exactly what the hell he brought. Now, one thing he didn't bring is a damn knife to cut the damn box open, and that's where I got you guys. Don't you worry. That chainsaw might not be able to assist us in this situation, but it doesn't mean that Leatherface can't breathe. Look at that. Vroom, vroom. This got to be like a chainsaw leather face, very much inspired. There is a lot of Chucky's in here too, so I cannot wait to see what all these figures are going to do side by side one another. Now this chainsaw, on the other hand, dude, this is like literally five times the size from what we've seen in the past. And it does have the engraving right there on the actual blade, which is a beautiness, man. It's a thing of beauty, the gold coming through solid. And I will give you a quick comparison on the one that we just unboxed right there with that one that we just got. So again, size definitely doubling it up right here with the figure. Now, will the figure though, will he be on that double or will he kind of be that figure that will be sitting on the shelves wondering if why the hell is this figgy just not doing good, bro? Bro, I'm telling you, <laughs> this one is probably the most common one, and I can clearly see why, dude. Like, this shirt, I mean, it works for the movie, but at the end of the day, bro, it's missing a little touchy touch. I'm kidding, dude. I do like the knee brace right there. You can see the demented torture that this man has been put through in order to keep that rain chainsaw blade going, bro. Let's go. Let's see how it sits on there on the man. Yeah, I think that sits on there pretty good, bro. Scan too. I gotta love that gruesomeness. Like, as far as the expression, you're really not seeing it there. Because keep in mind, the man is under a mask. But at the end of the freaking day, this figure, oh yeah, it's still going to sit pretty good right there in the unboxing figs. Oh yeah, let's keep this party going, bro. Who we got next? We got Gulia. Goo! Oh yeah, she's gonna come swinging in here. She's gonna get them eyes or them eyes lit up, and then she's gonna come out of the packaging to see what the crap this one is gonna bring. Because too many terrors, bro. They have been on fire, and the one that I can't personally wait for is gonna be that Megan. Well, I believe it's scheduled. I think it's January, early 2024. Which you know what? At the end of the day, we could actually maybe even use this. As a temporary, bro, like, I am definitely digging the dress. Not necessarily the head scan. You definitely can't use that for Megan. I mean, if you do repaint it, maybe then. But Ghoulia right here, bringing her own touch to the horror category. Got nice little yellow on the inside. On the outside, though, we got the solid blue that does match right there alongside the rest of the dress. We got a little bow up top, and we got them creepy ass eyes. Because you know what? You can actually display her, dude. She comes with a little stand. You poured it into the hole, and then you ain't flying anymore. <laughs> That's the problem, bro. When you go on a damn figgy stand, the only thing you're going to be doing is flying over that box. Watch out. Oh, my gosh. She just went flying because we have another representation of your boy. Leatherface. Now this one though is looking kind of more gruesome than the other, bro. It's like one always seems to outdo the other. And then next, we're gonna find out why did they go plain Jane on this chainsaw, bro? Like every Leatherface that I've unboxed, and I'm even talking about like the Toonie Tears. They actually incorporate a little bonus, but this looks like they took this straight out of Toonie Tears and called it a damn day. What the hell is wrong with you folks? All right, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the figure because that nastiness, look at that blood. This is what happens when you have a stroke midway through the horror movie. <laughs> what the crap?
crap, bro. That is wrong on so many levels. Now, the apron, though, yeah, really not that bloody. You get a little bit, a couple of splotches. The rest of the shirt, pretty damn clean. And this one right here, uh, since it is based off the 8-inch scale, you do get quite a good points of articulation. It goes pretty far wide, pretty far forward, and then we're going to go... Pretty far back. Oh, backflip because your boy Hatchet making a nice little comeback right here in the figure series, not in Echo This Go. Keep in mind, you guys, this is based on, I believe it's called Me Mega Horse. It's M E G O, and I believe it's on the corner. Yeah, right here. Check it out, you guys. If you guys want to pick these up, first of all, when it comes to your WWE figures, hit the link in the description below because discount code here will save you 10% over there. But. If you're trying to get your mango horse, or if you're just trying to get jacked up, right? Like Hatchet, we're going to do it right now, man. That way we can start the training early, and then you can come back and say, who the hell was that guy doing all those figgy unboxings of all these horror monsters? It's WHF, man. It's Wrestling Hero Figs, also known as Horror Hero Figs for the month of October. We got to do a little relabeling, renaming, right? Keep in mind, October is a spooky time of month. And Hatcher right here, trying to fake me out. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. <laughs> All right, he does come with his actual hatchet, and it is covered in blood on both sides. But the actual blood red, it doesn't even look like freaking blood. Dude, this looks like nail polish. You know, like straight up, like they came in here with the nail polish and called it a day. And they also came in here and gave this damn man a shirt underneath the overalls kind of to represent the goriness of his skin, and then called it a day. What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> You know, if I didn't know this, I would go ahead and consider this a knockoff. But you know what? Since we're going to be nice, we're going to keep going through the box. Because next up, oh yes, Friday the 13th might have already gone down, but it doesn't stop us. It doesn't mean that we still can't throw it down with your boy, Jason. Look at the massiveness of this damn figure, you guys. Like, Sorry, I got to put it in the camera angle because the tape, it is damn fighting me, bro. I'm telling you. That's the struggle of doing live unboxings because the knife rarely ever wants to work with your ass. But it's all good, bro, because we get through it. We come through it. And then Friday the 13th can go ahead and see this massive scan of a figure. I mean, check this out, you guys. This is pure insanity. I do like the little backdrop. You can see all the blood right there in black and white. And then the actual box itself, you guys, it's got tons of images right there. Of your boy, Jason Voorhees. Mask, unmasked. Which one did you guys call for? Guess what? We're going to get both of them. We got to check both of them out. Now, this is what blood is supposed to look like, bro. That last one, it was just bad. This one actually has the blood right there on the front, and it actually looks red. So they definitely did right right there within the figure. Now, this right here is more accordingly. And this is the most common use of weapon, too. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out on the actual figure in and of itself, bro. This stands at about six inches tall. So, I mean, a scale proportion, it's definitely pretty big right there for the neck of figures. But if you had a whole, like, Jason Voorhees display... I feel like this figure just might do it, especially with the skin underneath. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Hey, you guys. And I bet you that's where the Goonies probably got their inspiration, bro. They were checking out these horror movies, and then you were like, we got to make a character like that, dude. We got to make it happen because they haven't done it. And we're going to do it up right here with Annabelle. That's right. She comes home, and she's coming right now out of the box. Here's the back for those that wanted to see her on the chair right there. She's looking beautiful. Bottom man, who asked for it? We did. Who wants it? You guys. Who's going to get it? Well, obviously, if you subscribe to the channel, you're going to get it, my guy. And not only that, but also, you're going to drop a like. Because you guys love all these figures. Now, this one, I ain't loving the way that she's sitting in there. Because I honestly feel that, oh, yeah, we broke her. We go, well, yeah, we're going to get that other skin out, too, you guys. So you guys can see both of them. Look at this. Here is both skins. So this one, yeah, she's happy. She's like, finally, I get to be part of the WHF Horror Figgy Customs. Next up, what are we doing? Cloth goods, bro. Look at these cloth goods. Like, this kind of feels straight up like ladies' garments. She's like, bro, I am a lady. <laughs> I want to check out the other head scan just to see how the plain Jane, plain hamburger, no cheese, extra bacon at the Mickey D's, or maybe you want your BK satisfaction, right? Who's going to do it your way? Annabelle. Look at that. I actually like the one that's on the figure itself. This one works, but it ain't going to work unless if we continue with more horror. Look at this, you guys. Now, this three-pack, 
I actually don't know how far back it like it came out. I mean, the box itself, it looks pretty tore up. So apparently they got multiple characters in this series. This one was based off like the trio of like the top guys. So we got Leatherface right there. We got Freddy. And then we got Jason Voorhees. On the back end, this is based off the horror headliners. You'll know when you see them. Oh, yeah. They are super posable, super awesome, and uh, super taped up on the side so we can't even get these damn figures out. I'm kidding, bro. I told you. We don't give up here. We're going to keep going with it because the only way to do it is to do it with these guys. Now, these guys are on that little zip tie design. So as far as getting them out, we got to do the patient game. But you know what? It's all good because the entertainment, it is nonstop right here on the channel. Look at this. We got Freddy Krueger. Looking like a damn Scruff McGruff, and it actually kind of looks like a bendy. So inside, it doesn't have actually like any knee joints or elbow joints or anything like that. This is very much based off like that bendy design. So if you want to pose them around, they will stay posed for like a tiny bit, but that's as far as it's going to go. Now Leatherface, you guys, check out Leatherface, dude. This one, I got to say, huge fan of this. I'm going to go ahead and pop this baby out, bro. I'm going to go ahead and risk it. If he ends up breaking on me, well, guess what? You got a 30-year-old toy, busted it up oh dude michael's looking insane bro look at the scan on michael if he lets me take him out oh that is insanity bro i like it what do you guys think of it i don't know maybe leatherface is definitely standing a little stronger but at the end of the day pretty solid i mean again they are covered in something i don't know what the crap they're covered in bro but yeah even though they're brand new in the packaging they're definitely sitting kind of yeah we're gonna have to run those on down the wash and check out the rest next up we got your boy Penny. We got, do you want a balloon? Of course I want a balloon. I want to float. I want to float like Penny. Let's get Penny out. This one right here, I do believe you do get these at Walmart. I've seen them at Target too. You push the button, and I don't think it does anything. Why don't you do anything, bro? Why is my button? That's it. I'm going to do a complaint right there to Funko. Funko, why the hell is my Penny not doing anything with the button? <laughs> Maybe there's a switch. I don't know, bro. One thing I am going to say, though, is I think there's another one. Yes, we got another one. We got another one. We got Alien. Look at this. Oh, I, ooh, this one. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so this is what happens. So when you push it down, let's keep in mind, they got to keep, like, sample pieces right there for people that are checking it out. So it says right there when you push it down, it's technically supposed to pop up. I don't know, you guys. If anybody picked this up, please let me know because I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> Next up, we got, oh yeah, we got Zombie Falcon. This guy's tiny though. I mean, I don't know how much we're going to do talking here with this lad, but if you do want to put something on your keys, look at this. You can bring the damn zombies with you. You can be a zombie. You can get a zombie. You can ride around with the zombie, and then you can take flight right there with your boy Falcon. That's sick, bro. I like the goriness. I like how the lenses are kind of all broken, and some of you may be contemplating like, bro, this is DC. This is Marvel. This isn't horror. Well, keep in mind, when it is a zombie, technically in its own right, it is a freaking horror figure, man. Zombies eat your brains. You know who's going to be eating my brain right here? This guy. You know who else is going to be doing it up? Everybody that's turning on that notification bell. Because we got to get this cracked open, bro. We're going to go ahead and get him out. Phantom of the Opera right here. Brand new. Just starting to hit shelves. We're also going to get this one out. And we're also going to get the rest. Now, I'm telling you, you guys need to come back here. If you guys are this far in the video, drop a like. If you cannot wait to see the rest. Because I know Chucky right there, he's going to be waiting patiently. He's like, come on, bro. Get me out. Get me out. Ow, yeah! <laughs> Give me your thoughts. What was your favorite horror figure? Are you guys looking forward to getting these out? Because it's going to happen, dude. We got another massive horror unboxing, so definitely stay tuned. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you, my friends, on the next one. Hey, man, who brought that damn tiny chainsaw?